of um, more technical difficulties. All right. Oh, shit. All righty, man. I think I, I think everybody's got me. Just uh, put a number one up if you can hear me. For some reason, we are not on my Facebook page. Just uh, bear with me here for a second. Live. Gallery. Hello. Gallery. Master Bill. Hold on. Thomas Scarano. Save changes. Hold on, man. It's something every week. I want this to play on my... Uh, we should be there. I need barbecue pops here immediately. All right, there we are. Public. All right. Let me go down. We got Chris over in the wings waiting. We got Bath 13. Of course, we got my man Scotty, James Bearden, Ken Brooks, Wayne, of course, barbecue, uh, barbecue, well, I guess barbecue, why can't I talk tonight? BBQ Mama G is in the house. Oh, Tina's in the house. Look at that. That's a special. I think I've ever seen her here before. And the uh, uh, the girls will not be joining us tonight. I see a lot of ones up. And when I say girls, I do mean Maddie and Kiki. They are doing some live television tomorrow morning, very early, a breakfast show in Canada. Um, I did find out the um, I did find out the uh, YouTube channel how to watch it live when they are on. And there is a chat in there. If anybody wants to join me. On that chat, you could send me a, uh, a Facebook or an email. If Scotty could put my email up, it's at around 8.30 to 8.45 in the morning. That is Eastern time. Um, we will uh, yuck it up in the chat as they are doing their thing live. If anybody wants to join in on that, just reach out. That is 8.45 a.m. As I go down this chat. So let's bring our guest on and I'll tell you uh, uh, who he is, how I met him, what he does, and we will go from there. And there is Mr. Chris right there. Can you hear you me? <clears throat> I can he hear is. you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. So, so Chris... So Chris, and, and I don't want to talk him up too much because I know probably a lot of people, I know some of you people know him, Scotty, I, I think knows, and maybe a few other ones. So Chris was probably one of the early uh, uh, helpers uh, for my show, for my channel, as Barbecue Mama just put up that as breakfast television. And yes, I do have the YouTube channel. Again, reach out and we will all go, uh, we will all do the chat together. So um, <clears throat> I met Chris probably, I don't know, three, four years ago, maybe longer than that, probably four or five years ago, after my channel was just up and running maybe for a year. He actually designed a website for me, uh, designed a couple t-shirts for me. Uh, he did my logo as, uh, as he has done some other logos. So if anyone, so right off the bat, if anybody's looking for a logo, whether barbecue or anything else, uh, you know, he's the guy, uh, website, he's the guy. Uh, and I, I figured, and, and I've never lost touch with him. I told him because he helped me out. I, I mean, I, if he charged me for the website, I don't remember. I wasn't making any money back then. Um, I've taken care of him, uh, when I can here and there. And I told him if I ever make it big, I'll bring him with me. Of course, you know, I'm still waiting for that day to come, but, uh, I've not turned my back on him and I am still here. And I thought it would be fun to bring him on tonight 
uh, just to talk to him a little bit. And again, to um, bring up that if anybody's looking for any of that stuff, uh, just go ahead and, uh, you know, let them know, let me know, whatever. So go ahead, Chris, you got the floor. Uh, just give us a, a brief background. If you want to talk about barbecue, you want to talk about your web page, uh, logos, whatever, take the floor. Go ahead. Sure. <clears throat> Thank you for having me. Uh, I have been a longtime viewer of yours since the beginning. Of, of that's how video. we met. That's correct. And uh, mm -hmm. I did not, I did not charge you for anything actually. So that was my okay. uh, volunteering of, of time and resources. So, which, so, um, so, 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 so it's fair to probably say as maybe a fan. So, right. You, you watched the show, you were a fan and you, you seen some possibilities, whatever. And uh, well, you knew I was a, you knew I was a nice guy, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, actually, I didn't. I, I had been following you because I was interested in the master built grill. There you go. This was in the thick of the, the pandemic when everything was shut down. And OK, essentially, I was bored every day. Work had ceased because of the <clears throat> pandemic. And so I was basically sitting at home thinking of ways to. Uh, cure my boredom and I love pulled pork. I love smoked foods and barbecue. And so you were one of the um, creators that actually I, I, I thought was very unique in your style, the way you, you speak to your audience, the, uh, and, and you've only progressed tremendously since, since those mm -hmm. days. I mean, if you go back and look at some of your old stuff, it's like, what the hell was, was he thinking? Oh but, man. Uh, you know, s s let me cut cut in for a second since we're we're starting to wrap back and forth here. So CJ did a video where he actually put himself in a little corner and he kind of he kind of critiqued his first videos that he used to do. And I, eventually, one day, I'm going to do that because they were pretty bad, man. They were freaking <laughs> bad. But go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. So essentially, I, I wanted to kill some time, and I had lots of it available. So I, I actually I'd reached out to you to offer some advice, really, on you know getting your your online reputation, your online presence, kind of uh, increased in different areas mm -hmm. and different streams, whether it be a be a website or social media beyond what you are currently doing. Patreon, I remember helping you out with that at the beginning yes. of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then, of course, shirts and different graphics and things like that. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I how I came to uh, consider you to be a friend now. We, we, we wrap back and forth from everything from technology to weight loss, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. And so it's 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 been a fun, fun ride. And I, I, I'm excited to see, you know, your future as it as it grows. And of course, whether you make it big or not, you, you know, you're a pretty big star to a lot of people. I mean, I've seen your videos traveling around and, you know, uh, meeting with other creators and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't you may not think you're very big, but to a lot of people, you are. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Um, you know, so. I never want to shut the door that I'm, if I'm ever going to make it big, bigger, I should say, because, you know, Facebook has really, I had a, I think I talked about this last week and I, I think I mentioned it to you or maybe I didn't, I'll mention it real quick, but Facebook did, uh, Facebook did have a viral video, uh, 5 million in two days and then uh, another two, 3 million since, but also uh, about six four or five other videos on Facebook that uh, reached over a million. Um, so it's real weird because, you know, Facebook just kind of turned it on out of the blue, uh, you know, so I've really been diving into that. But then on the flip side, I have changed my, uh, the way I edit, uh, thanks to uh, Ricer, um, and I, I like the style. It has certainly breathed new life into the show. And I have gotten some good compliments uh, from some of the viewers uh, because I do believe the way I used to do the show, um, people can't, you know, people, they lose interest quick. If, if, if you're, 
you know, the way I, I used to narrate it, you know, maybe I put some people to sleep, they didn't get it, you know, whatever. So now the show moves a lot faster. It's a two day process, at least maybe three. So it's taken me a little bit longer. But uh, the last few videos up on on uh, YouTube or the past month even. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little excited right now. I'm a little excited right now, for sure. Things are looking up. Well, that's exciting. Very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. A little background on me, though. I'm I for twenty plus years. I've been a software developer and a web designer slash developer. I worked in the defense contract world, uh, traveling abroad quite a bit as a software developer uh, mm -hmm. for for the army and the navy and just different contracts and whatnot. But always as a developer um, of software and or web applications and. Mm -hmm. Uh, like I said, when the pandemic hit, jobs went bye-bye, and uh, yeah, and it's still not, you know, people people say there's lots of jobs out there, but I'm telling you, in the yeah. tech industry, it's 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 a lot. It's hard. It's not as uh, easy as it used to be, in my opinion, but um, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, uh, I think there's just a lot of weird stuff going on out there right now, because... Um, you know, first of all, with the, with, with the COVID, uh, things will, things are, the, I'll always treat things the same. It has not changed my life at all, but it, it has changed the landscape of, of work as far as like, uh, people work from home now, you know, my wife works from home four days, uh, three days a week out of five, uh, three days a week out of five. Correct. Uh, and I do believe, uh, the younger crowd, controls the market now and if 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 they try to uh when i say they i'm talking corporate america if they try to say okay you got to come back to the office now five days a week i think a lot of these kids will quit I that's mean, you true know, yeah you know now my daughter likes going into the office but i know a lot of these kids don't they're used to working from home so the the the, the landscape of of work has definitely changed there's no doubt about it um I don't feel I'll ever change. Uh, you know, uh, I joke. It it doesn't matter to me who's in the big house, Democrat, Republican. Do I side one way? I do. Um, I never talk about it. And I won't hear. But my life never changes. Um, I just go about and do what I do. Um, but I think COVID, going back to COVID, it definitely put a wrinkle in, into a lot Um I'm not sure that there's uh, people are working as much as is being reported or maybe maybe they're holding two jobs. So, you know, if you if you, Chris, were working two jobs, you're counted as you're employed. Needless to right. say, you need two jobs to survive. I, so I think that's one of the reasons unemployment is super low. Um, maybe. I don't know. But uh, so Ooh. so. Yeah, so you're down. You're down in Florida, right? I am. Um, yeah. You down do in the Stewart, West Palm Beach area. Okay, and you're doing. Uh, uh, talk about what you're doing. Uh, web pages. What are you doing? So, uh, well, I, a little bit of everything actually. So, web development and graphic design, logo development, social <clears throat> media marketing. Those are kind of my bread and butter things that I like mm -hmm. to do um, when I'm unable to do those because clients are, you know, are non-existent at the moment or something like that. Um, I do IT specialty work, uh, building servers, fixing servers, uh, uh, just about anything, writing software mm -hmm. for companies and things like that. Um, you so know, estimating software, they're different things. I got you. So Ken's, Ken's got a question. Um, uh, do I remember how much input I had on my logo or website. I had zero input, uh, actually. Um, Chris knew the channel. I think as far as the website, I know nothing about the websites. He designed the whole thing himself. Um, my logo, uh, you know, I think he, he ran off my old logo, which had a bull in there. And he just designed it, designed a couple different ones. He's actually designed a couple shirts for me also. Um, now, look, I'll be the first to admit, you know, my web page is sitting there. It should be doing a lot more. But as a one man show, <clears throat> you know, I just haven't really taken advantage of it. But he helps me keep it, 
he helps me keep it up and running. You know, maybe one day, who knows? Um, right now, I got my hands full. So to answer Ken's question, I just pretty much gave him some thoughts and, and he, he did the rest. And, and the, you know, if anyone's, if anyone's looking for a logo, um, it doesn't have to be barbecue. Um, you know, so I just thought I'd throw that out there. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, and actually to kind of further um, expand on your answer, Tommy, there, uh, you, you actually, what we did is we sent you like different revisions and edits of things that you didn't, you know, some things you didn't like or wanted changed here and there. Mm -hmm. um, I know that was a long time ago when we did that, but uh, I would say you had pretty much you know, if you had said it sucked completely, we would have uh, scrapped it and started over. Yeah. Well, you sent you sent about four or five different logos, yeah. I think, you know, yeah. so I got to pick out of there. And I think uh, um, and, and I would love to talk to a drunk Kathy who's uh, just checked in, maybe a little bit, a uh, little buzz with the beautiful afternoon. We should bring her on live. That would be quite sure. uh, quite fun. We should have a, a drunken <laughs> show. Of course, I won't be drunk because I really don't drink, but I can bring on some drunken guests. Um, so, yeah, so uh, he sent a few over, I remember, and we decided on one that, that, that I liked, um, you know, and the, and the rest is history, really. And again, a couple shirts, Right. I remember you designed a couple shirts. Yeah. The you know, there's so much. Shirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which one was that? The make steak great again shirt. I remember. Oh, that yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah. That was, and that was, was actually your best seller. And then so, you had some. Uh, I don't, yeah. you know, I, I, I don't you push it down. <laughs> well, I don't push. Yeah. Maybe that. I think maybe somebody might have said something, but. I don't, I don't push a lot of stuff like I should because there's just so much stuff to do, um, I guess. Hold on. I don't think I can handle working from home. I don't think I can. You know, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's just it really probably depends on the setup uh, lamps that you have at home. You know, I don't know your situation, who you live with. If you're, if you're married, if you get along with your wife, if, if, you, if you live with your mom and dad, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> For me, I got no, I got no problem. I, matter of fact, I can't, I could never go back to work. I'm spoiled. Um, the thing to do, Lance or anybody, and I've talked about this, is you got to, you got to have a schedule. So just because you, and Chris, you work from home and I, and I know we have talked about it. Um, you got to get up, go to the gym, you know, come home, start working, take a break, you know, start working again. You got to do the same thing that you did, you know, for 30, 40 years before that, besides the gym, obviously. Uh, you can't just get up and lay in bed till seven o'clock and then just decide to roll out of bed and go to work. Um, you know, after you have breakfast and you fart around in the kitchen for, you know, whatever you got to get up and, and basically just tackle it. And, and uh, that's the only way that I think really works that, that it works from home. Uh, do you have any, any uh, rituals or, or whatever, Chris, that you do, or I know you go to a Starbucks a lot. Well, no, I, I I've stopped that. You cut them it, out. It okay. Can't afford it. Expensive. Um, yeah. But what I did is I bought my own espresso machine and I make my own. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I saw, I saw that. And I actually, I, I roast, got into the hobby of roasting my own beans, too. So I got a roaster out here. So it's cheaper to buy the green raw beans and make your own coffee. Mm -hmm. it's awesome. So did you have you ever thought about uh, starting a uh, a YouTube channel? No, I you know, I live vicariously through you, Tommy. I don't I don't. OK. Uh, I, I, I see some of the drama sometimes and I just, you know, I don't. I'm not a big fan of all that. So I, yeah, I, I, I'm much yeah. better as a private individual. Is that drama between creators or, or YouTube drama? YouTube drama. Okay. I know, uh, you know, you get a tough, uh, you get, you know, with those viral videos on Facebook, the amount of people that say the weirdest thing. I mean, you know, uh, I'm doing a brisket on Facebook and I get comments like, it's too well done. I like my brisket, you know, rare to medium rare. And, you know, because they don't have, they don't really know what I'm doing, but they, they have to, 
you know, they have to comment um, and say jerky things, you know, risk it rare. You know, I mean, you know, but what are you going to do? You try to teach, you know, you you try to teach. If they comment, that's a a positive thing in the uh, algorithm. I was talking to Scotty, uh, me and Scotty go back and forth. um, And he was, uh, he, he reached out on some jerky comments. And I said, I said to him, you know, if they're commenting, that's money. You know, that's, I need them to comment. You know, I told Scotty that I have to check myself because it's, Sometimes it's very hard to, to, you know, so I delete a lot of comments or I'll, 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 I'll ban a lot of people um, that just don't belong there. A lot of times I'll get people who, you know, put up that are murdering animals and, you know, those type of people. And, you know, it gets tough every once in a while, but you're right. If you, you need those comments. Um, so it, it's been, Facebook, it's been fun. Are you still running that? I'm still in your master built group on Facebook, but is, is it still active for you anyways? Are you still getting in there and doing stuff? It, it, it is, but I'm not, um, because it's, you know, it's, it's, I've turned the page, but now the, because I haven't cooked on the 1050 in a while, I'm actually getting rid of the 1050 to uh, Jerry, who's in this chat here, uh, probably right. uh, hounding me to make sure I don't change my mind. But, you know, there's been so many cookers, so I haven't been active in the in the group. The group was actually overtaken by another master built group that's a little bit more active than mine. We are live in that master built uh, group today. Um, but you know, there's just, it's just busy. There's just a lot for me to do. The group still runs and there's 28,000 people. Uh, I am a mod on the other, uh, master build group also. I'm an admin there and a mod on the other one. Um, so, you know, I'm active in both, but I got the new master builds coming tomorrow, you know, so that, that's uh, exciting. that's going to put me back in the game. You know, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of master builders in here. And uh, the master build definitely made my channel. There's no doubt about it. Um, and I am looking forward to uh, I am looking forward to the new master build for sure. Scotty says, "I love to work from home. When I retire, I'd be home working." There you go. And you should have a little pension, I believe, right, Scotty? Just too many distractions at home. See, there's no distractions here. The kids are, the kids are out. Uh, my cat, who's always usually right there, I don't know where she went. Should be back in a little while. Where's Molly only, today? Uh, she's with my wife. She's she's of my wife's. You know, follows her everywhere. I got the cat. She's got the dog. <laughs> you know, the dog was supposed to be mine, but you know, when COVID hit, my wife was home and I was still working out in the field. So the dog got attached to my wife big time, you know, black labs, man, forget it. You know, she is on, you know, my wife back and forth, the dog just follows, follows, follows. But, um, you know, I got my cat and uh, I'm really a cat person anyway. So I almost wore your shirt tonight, Ken. We've always had three cats, but now we've got two. Um, You know, the older you get. You got to be careful because you don't you don't want your pets to outlive you, so you don't want to get dogs and cats when you're friggin' seventy five, right? Because they, they won't understand when you don't come home, you know. Especially yeah. a dog, you know. Cats, you know, cats, cats are cats, but a dog, <laughs> you know, you don't want to get dogs too late in life. I don't think that's I don't think that's too cool. But Ken, I almost wore your shirt tonight. I'm gonna actually break it out tomorrow. Um, Kenny had a nice uh, North Texas barbecue attic shirt that I picked up. Hold on. Very nice. Mm. Can you order that on his on his website or online? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cool shirt, man. Let me go grab Very it. Real nice. quick. You in a house bed? That's true, Wendy. A senior dog when you're older. Companionship yeah, the, uh, is shirt. important. Well, that's shirt nice. Right there. Yeah. Some nice colors. Almost like a baseball jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I picked that up. 
Right, I just want to throw something out there. If anybody is Go interested ahead. in a logo, graphic design, web development, really anything in that spectrum, uh, uh, being from this show will get grant you a pretty good discount. I know uh, we'll do you know unlimited edits to logos for three hundred bucks and some different things with websites. Uh, just to just to throw that out there. All right. Yeah. Definitely. If anybody's looking for something or even a new logo, let them design something up. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Amen to that. When is your nice. master built? Uh, are you going to do a build video first? Dude, man, I, I, I've been busting. I've been busting schedule, man. My book. <sighs> My book is pretty clear for this whole week. I'm going to be on that thing, you know, content after content, you know. Are you going to be the um, first creator to get one? Nah, I don't know. You know, I'm not complaining because uh, Masterville threw it my way. So, I, so I'm definitely not complaining. Um, I would have liked, uh, I would have liked the influencers to have gotten it before the, uh, um, um, homeowners, whatever, I guess you could say, but it, it's already landed. Uh, now Dallas uh, has it. He's, he's an influencer um, or he runs a, a master bill Facebook group. I don't think he has a YouTube channel. I would have liked to have seen a couple YouTube channels, get it two weeks before consumers got it because, because they're going to turn to the influencers to, to assemble it. Or if there's problems or this, that, and the other, um, that wasn't the case. Um, so a lot of, uh, some con consumers have already gotten it. Um, but you know, I'm not complaining. I'm grateful that Masterbuilt, uh, reached out to me because they're asking a pretty penny for that thing, man. It's like 1500 bucks. That's a lot of money for a pit, man. The, the, the 1050, the 1050, I think was what is 750 or 800. Yeah, I, I paid less than that on a special at Home Depot, but I think it was yeah. seven ninety nine. Yeah, retail. you know, so fourteen ninety nine. That's a that's a that's a big jump. You know, it's Hopefully a big jump. That's gonna worth. It. Well, I'm sure it's gonna be. I'm sure they're gonna nail it. But uh, that uh, that is gonna knock a lot of people out of the game. People, you know. It's and there's my man Paul Q. I haven't seen him in a while. He's uh, I think he's in the UK. I think Paul, right? Or maybe not, maybe not. But it is good to see you, Paul, Mister uh, Pit Boss. I do believe. Um, but uh, uh, you know, it's a lot different paying seven hundred, seven ninety nine for a grill and fourteen hundred for a grill, fifteen hundred taxes. That's a lot of money, man. You know, that is a lot. I don't of money. think I've ever paid uh, fifteen hundred for a grill in my life. I think uh, the I brought my uh, my my Halo griddle was eleven hundred. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, I don't think I've ever pe paid that much for a grill. Um, yeah, it's a lot of money, man. That that would that would be a chunk of change that would give me thoughts, and I'd have to think about that. That's you know, not as an influencer, as an influencer, I would get it. You know, if I had to pay for it, I would I would buy it for sure because that's what I do. But um, if I was a consumer, uh, I don't know, man. That's that's almost two grand, man. That's a lot of money for a grill, man. You're you're you know you're a thousand away from the Lone Star at that point, um, you know. Wow. But uh, and I know and I know there are uh, people because I have read it in the group. There are people that um, you know have balked at the price, you know. Um, so we'll see. Hey, um I know. D Doug just asked for a new logo. Is there any way you could put my email or website? He's on Facebook. Yeah. Can you do it, Chris? What is uh, it? Actually, well, I'm let me see if I can. You, or you want me to drop your Facebook? Like no. A Facebook? Uh, no, I'm going to put, I'm going to try to. If I comment in StreamYard, because I'm not familiar with StreamYard, will it go to yeah, yeah. all of the platforms? Yeah, if you comment in StreamYard, it'll go to everybody. I would ask Scotty to do it, but Scotty probably doesn't know it. 1,500 clams. 
As we say yeah, in Jersey, that's a was, that's a lot of potatoes, man. 1,500 bag fall. of potatoes. It, says, uh, it failed to post. So, uh, Fine. What's the uh, – give me the website. It's creative356.com without on. an E. So creative minus the E, 356.com. Oh, and then you know what my email is if you want to throw that out there. <clears throat> it's not working for me. Weird. Hold on. Creative356.com. I'll drop it in. For some reason, it's not being pulled up. I'll drop it in. And make sure I spelt that right. I just dropped it. Uh, hey, Tina, e. thanks. Oh, did I put the E in there? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Whoops, failed to post. Temporary restricted from sharing links. Hold on, because Facebook has been after me. Wait. Hold on. <clears throat> I don't think they're going to let me. All right, there it is. They may not let me uh, share it. All right, I just shared it. Now, see, Facebook, all right, it came up in my gallery one. Did it, Can you see it? Yeah, it just popped up. Okay. D Doug, if you want to reach out to that e uh, web address, um, get a hold of me, and I'd be happy to work with you. Yeah, 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 no doubt. I think and Scotty got it up now. Thank you, Scotty. I did something wrong on Facebook, and they barred me from posting pictures and what? and I, I don't know what, what I did, did you wrong? <laughs> I don't know man I don't know what I did You're and I tried people. to and I tried to look I tried to look around in Facebook to see and I, it just says I can't post anything for six days like oh, I'm in man. Facebook jail but uh yeah. I didn't do any I didn't do anything because I'm very careful you know yeah I'm very careful what I post you know because of the business yeah. but that's fine. Nice until April 19th now it's telling me. I don't know. What in the world did you do? I don't know. Hold on. I see my wife is checking in. Can Chris do? Can you do a YouTube ribbon? Sure. That is my buddy, uh, Mama and Papa Joe. He was a guest uh, two weeks ago. Clarence, I do believe his name is. I don't even know what a YouTube ribbon is. What is it? It's the... I'll I'll do I'll show you after the show. All right. It's in the. It's kind of like a like a banner almost, but not. It, it, yeah. Is that the uh, you, is that the big logo that stretches across the uh, thing? Yeah, there's a couple different flavors of how you can go about doing those. Um, you can do them in video. <clears throat> you can do them uh, on the YouTube channel itself. Uh, so it's not that uh, that's as 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 that would that up top thing yeah, there. Yeah, is, you could, That's kind of like the ribbon. You you could say that. All right. Maybe get a. Where'd you go, Tommy? Thank you, Scotty, for putting that up there. All right, I'm back. I actually closed out of StreamYard. Oh, my. All of a sudden, uh, I saw my eight. head just grow really big. I'm like, what the hell happened? I know. Well, you had to run the show, ma'am. <laughs> and Wendy says I, I good, paid. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this before, so that's good. Two bears of charcoal. Yeah, those days are over, Wendy. Oh, Peggy, so uh, you got board. contact, Chris, Tommy, <laughs> as for you. I know they do. Like, I could have put, like, uh, I could have put, like, you know, I could have been talking about cooking and, and 
a fire or burn it or, uh, you know, anything. And you're right, Facebook does. But I don't think there's any. I tried to look, uh, Wendy, of why I was being punished, and I can't find anything. My wife said he disappeared. You should be able to review it. I don't know. I tried. I've been banned. I told uh, I told the story two, three years ago. Some Arab hacked my Facebook account and posted uh, ISIS crap on my Facebook. Um, and Facebook uh, won't allow me to advertise. Now, I got it fixed because obviously I'm not ISIS, you know, but uh, there's nobody to talk to. You can't talk to anybody on Facebook. You know, that's the world we live in now. There's nobody to talk to, you know. That's the Chris show now. Yeah. Tommy's much more entertaining, I can assure you. My wife pulled the cord. Yeah, uh, Clarence, uh, definitely reach out to him. Uh, uh, no doubt about it, man. No doubt about it. So what's on, uh, so what you said your week was free, so are you not doing any videos this week other than the master bill? <laughs> So I cooked, I cooked today. I cooked today. I'll edit that tomorrow. The master belt going to land tomorrow. And then it's right into the master belt for the, for the rest of the week. You know, I'm excited to um, see that. I've got my two Z grill cooks out of the way. I've only got, I only got three cooks that I have to do uh, by the end of the month. Pay, paid, you know, that are obligated cooks. Um, so I got all the other ones done, um, you know, so, so it's going to be, it's going to be master build, of course, Oklahoma Joe, we can't forget that one. Um, you know, so I'm going to looking forward to getting some good content out there, so you know, some different grill? content. Huh? What's your favorite grill so far? Would you say in the last four or five years that you've, uh, you, well, the Lone Star, the Lone Star Pella grill, man, is, is unlike any other grill that I've, I've used. Um, the Oklahoma Joe right now is not counting the Lone Star because, you know, that uh, most consumers aren't going to be able to afford that. So it just wouldn't be a fair fight. But the Oklahoma Joe gravity fed right now is the is the grill of the year. Um, we have to see how the uh, how the master bill performs. Um, Z grills put out a grill. uh that big monster grill was it 1100 2 B or something? I forget. That was a, the best Z grills that I've ever used, and one of the best pits that I've used as far as a pellet grill. Um, you know, but right now it's the Oklahoma Joe. Um, you know, very good. And we'll have to see the master build. You know, for the price that they're you're saying. <laughs> okay, so what Ken just posted. It. What Ken just posted, that 1102B. Hold on, let me pull that up. I think that's the best Z Grills ever came out with, that multitasker. It's called the multitasker, uh, 1102B. Um, that is Z Grills. I don't know why Z Grills didn't back that up. You know, they a lot of the Z Grills uh, stuff are the same, as my man CJ is checking in. A lot of Z Grills grills are the same. That 1102 B by Z Grills, man, they should have backed that up with more pits. It seems like since COVID, I got to tell you, like even Master Bill took four years to update the uh, gravity feds. I, I believe that's COVID related. Uh, otherwise, I think that they would would be upgrading these grills uh, on a yearly basis. I know Pit Boss just came out with some bangers, man. They really upped the game with some banger uh, grills. Um, really, Pit Boss, huh? Yeah, yeah, they up, updated their pellet line to some real kick-ass grills, um, which was nice to see. I don't do anything with Pit Boss anymore, but I give props where crop, you know, where props are. Uh, they got some good pits, but again, that Z Grills eleven hundred two B, I would put that grill up, up really up against any other pellet grill on the market. Period, really? except the Lone Star. Yeah, that's a badass pit by Z Grills, man. That pit does it all. I mean, it's, it's like not even a Z grill because it looks nothing like it's like the, you know, the beautiful stepdaughter of Z grill, you know, because it's just a gorgeous pit, man. It just does everything right. The control panel's different. The weight is different. It's just a, it's a monster. It's a monster. 
Doing yet another one. That, that would be my wife saying that. I, I, I got about four or five girls <laughs> listed now because my wife is, uh, I got like 15 girls on the property. It's just too many. Uh, there's my man, CJ. And yes, Ken, you got yourself a nice pit, man. That pit will treat you nice. Nah, anyone else frozen? I don't think so, Wendy. I think that's probably on your end. And <clears throat> my man Tom coming in with a uh, four ninety nine super chat. I appreciate that, buddy. That is Mr. Tom Horseman, and I see a double super chat by Tom Horseman. That is four ninety nine and four ninety nine. He's got a good channel, Tom. Tom's, you know, but we had Tom on the show. Was it last week? I think last week. And there's one thing about Tom, man. He's a straight shooter, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's a straight shooter. And he had a problem. Uh, I didn't bring it up with him because that wasn't the place to do it. But he had a problem two years ago, three years ago. I'm not going to talk about it, but I'll bring it up. And uh, uh, he had a problem two, three years ago. And he stood right up on it and went on the show, even though they said he wouldn't. And he went there and he did not back down. And I picked up a lot of respect, a lot of respect for him that day. A lot of respect. He's a good, he's a good, he's a good man. He's uh he's somebody you want in the foxhole with you. You know, he's somebody, yeah, he ain't yeah. going to run. You know, his son a has a channel too, doesn't he? His son does, but I don't really follow his son. I, I know his son, and we didn't even talk about it on the show. I know his son had a, a, a baby maybe a year ago, a year and a half ago. If Tom's here, he'll chime in. Uh, I don't know if he does uh, content. I'm thinking he's a comp cook, but I'm not even sure. I think he's a comp cook, but I'm not sure how much YouTube contact uh, content is. YouTube's tough game, ma'am. YouTube's a tough game. I mean, I talked to CJ about it, uh, YouTube, and YouTube's a tough game. I mean, you really got to hit viral type videos on YouTube. I'm talking like, you know, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 a video. That's not even viral, but that's going to make you start making you some money. If you just do two, three thousand on a view, you're not going to make, you're not going to make a uh, big money. You know, you're not, you're going to, you're going to whistle by, you know, you're going to make, you're going to make some scratch money. And there is my man, Stephen. And Stephen, I would love to have you on the show uh, down the road. I was going to reach out if you're still there, if you're still in the chat. Think about that, man. And there is my man, Paul Q. I never owned a Pelicro, but I credit Tommy to get my curious enough to buy one. Well, you certainly went right to the top, my friend, right to the top. Yeah, the pit boss, uh, uh, right, uh, not Ricer, uh, uh, Grill Sergeant's been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, pit boss stuff. It looks good, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that uh, Z-Grill looks just like the Traeger. Have you my ever wife used says there's Tommy? Nah, nah. My wife says there's about 25 girls on the property. She could be right. <laughs> I mean, counted. I mean, I think I got four monument girls alone. How do you like those girls? For gassers, I mean, look, I, I'll take a monument grill over a Weber because Webers are just too much money, you know? Uh, I'm not going to spend fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 on a gas grill. And the good Webers are about that much. You know, you can get the cheaper Weber for 600 but it's very small. Scotty probably disagree with me. He's a big Weber guy. But uh, I would take a Mon – I think Monument Grills puts out a good product. Good product. They got that new one out. I'll be doing some content on it tomorrow. It's uh, it's eight ninety nine, man, but it's fully loaded, man. It comes with a rotisserie. I mean, this thing's got sear, sear burners everywhere. You know, it's like the it's like the Cadillac of gas grills. They're they're an exciting company. And yes, uh, Scotty had to sell his Z grills. And we got another super chat there by Mister CJ. Time for another Vegas trip. I know my wife is still out there watching. 
We have talked about it. That is August, I do believe. You keep me up on that. And of course, Mr. Tom Horseman, his uh, his, his son's uh, Mad Horse Barbecue. But I don't, again, if you're out there, Tom, uh, does he put content out anymore? I'm not sure. But yeah, CJ, as it gets closer, you know, uh, you know, do it, man. My my daughter's having a uh, kid. Uh, uh, what, what, what? April, May, June, two months, uh, eight, seven weeks, maybe. Uh, so we're pretty much on hold here. So we're not going to just take our yearly Mexican run, Mexico run. So uh, Vegas might be looking pretty good. We'll see. Hey, Tom, fly in, man. It's a blast. I mean, it was a little much, but it was fun. I mean, whew. that was crazy, man. How long were you in Vegas trip. for? I mean, we were there for a couple of days, man. But that one day with CJ at the pool, man, forget about it. Fuck, oh, man. That was some day, man. <laughs> that was some day. It was fun, man. You know, we the big pool, we just floated around and drank and floated around and drank. And that's when I was spotted. I thought those guys set me up, you know, because some guy came over and said, oh, my God, I watch you all the time. And I'm, this is the first time I was ever spotted in the wild. And I looked over at Josh, you know, and CJ, and I'm like, really, guys, are you going to you gonna, <laughs> you gonna pull this? And they're like, oh, we didn't say anything, you know, and, and they didn't, you know, so that was pretty Pretty cool being spotted in Vegas at a pool. I mean, that's pretty that's cool. That's impressive. Man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hold on here. What's this? Side? Can you take over already built site? Can you, and will he work for barbecue? Can you take over already built sites? He, he can yeah, help you for really sure. Did. I did comment in answer to that, but yeah, okay. I can take over any site that you currently have. And um, yeah. as far as working for barbecue, I will work to pay for barbecue. <laughs> there you go. Chris can at times can eat too much. So he, uh, we talk about health and, and weight loss all the time. So yeah. getting him barbecue may not be the best thing. But I'll tell you, CJ, reach out and have a co phone conversation with him because sure. – He's a straight up dude, man. And you know, if you if you talk nice to him, you can get him to drop his prices. <laughs> and there's my wife saying, "What's up, CJ?" Traeger is the caddy of Pelicribs only the rich can afford. You know, that's marketing, man. Traeger has good marketing, Nate. They got everybody fooled. I'm not saying Traeger's a bad Pelagro because they're not, but they can charge a little bit more because they have great marketing for sure. Just peeking over here. Oh, then you got spotted at Disney, according to Wendy? I did. I got spotted twice at Disney. Uh, one time was a little, little bananas because uh, – the first time somebody just put me on the back, uh, tapped me on the back and said, I knew it was you. Um, we took pictures, but then I was waiting in line to get something to drink. And this was like a, you know, whatever. I don't want to say like a movie star moment, but this guy stuck this camera right in my face, you know, and it's like, you know, and he's starting to film me, you know, and that's like paparazzi shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he's filming me with the camera in my face and people are starting to look. You know what I mean? Um, that was Who's the that second Tom spot Selleck? out. You know that that's the second spot out. Um, I see us. I see a super chat. I, I mentioned CJ super chat, right? Yes. Okay. I didn't. I didn't want to forget it. I didn't want to forget it. I just went back and I like, gotcha. But my Weber's new Weber will. New Weber will at last any monument grills. I'm not so sure about that. Weber's is as is, is China as, as monument. Although Weber will probably, but Weber's ain't Weber's anymore. Scotty loves his Weber's. Yes, he does. Yeah. What does he do? 
Scotty? Yeah, for work. I know he uh, eats a lot. He <laughs> eats a lot, sleeps a lot. <laughs> and doesn't clean his grills a lot. <laughs> Scotty works in like a, I don't know, a turkey farm, welder, whatever. <laughs> turkey farm. He's a good guy, Scotty. Yeah. I we like talked to him. I, yeah, I talk to him all the time. Man. He's, he's a ball buster. He's a ball buster. Sometimes, sometimes it's a little much. He knows when it's a little much because usually I just, you know, turn him off. But he's a uh, he's a good guy, man. He puts some good content out, man. If he would clean it up a little bit, be a little better, you know. But he he doesn't have any interest in and in, you know editing it or anything. He just films it. I'm reading these uh, chats here. I fell way behind, man. And I can't believe it's 7 o'clock already. This must be, this has to be the quickest sh show that I've ever done. Ever. I, I would have to agree. I can't believe the time flew as quick as it did. Yeah. I got a cooking question <laughs> for you, Tommy. Go ahead. What is a guaranteed way to have tender, juicy chicken on the grill without turning it into like rubber. Every time I like, throw some chicken, I, I don't know, you know, I brine it, well, I do all this stuff, always comes Pick out one top. with the bone. Pick one with the bone, first of all, right? Cook chicken breast with a bone in, it's gonna be more juicy than a regular uh, breast. Uh, pull it before one, what does the USDA say? 165 for chicken yeah. breast? Pull it at 155, 160. Don't cook it to 165, then pull it because then it's gonna it's gonna add another five, 10 degrees, you know, and you're gonna be eating it at 175 or 180. You know, pull there it at one, go. you know, live a little bit, man. Live a little bit, you know, pull it at 155. I'll put my disclaimer up. You know, but seriously, you know, when you cook chicken breast, you know, you wanna pull it, you wanna pull it uh, sooner than you probably would. That's the only way to get a tender piece of chicken. Um, right. you know, that would be my, uh, <clears throat> that would be my thing. If anyone else wants to chime in, Scotty, then there's my man, George. And that is correct. Disney and S Scotty got, uh, Scotty got spotted at Walmart. There you go. Probably from Walmart because he hates Walmart. Z Grills is good, man. Hey, boss, I got a, I got a bolt. You're done. That's I'm all right. Done. It's, it's, it looks like you're going to be shutting down here. To yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't let it run. Go ahead, man. I'm going to cut you off. I'll finish up the show. Uh, if anybody wants to get in touch with Chris, uh, get in touch with me, or his website has been posted, and uh, you see what happens. Thank you, Tommy. I appreciate the right, opportunity. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to everyone. No problem. I'll talk. I'll give you a buzz tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Tommy. All right, ma'am. So that's Mr. Chris right there. I, I can't believe that was a freaking quick hour, man. But seriously, <clears throat> he's a good dude, man. He's a good dude. Um, he helped me a lot with my web page. Let me see if I could pull that up. You know, I don't really do too much with it. It's there. It's there if I if I ever if I ever need to uh, do anything with it. Uh, you know, but I mean, I'm a one man show here. You know, so um, there is my uh, there is my web page right there. He's got some flashers, some flashers up. You know, I can go in and change all that all that stuff. Tommy's thoughts. Tommy ain't got much thoughts, but there's Tommy's thoughts. I've got a couple recipes. So I did start putting some uh, some recipes up there, you know. But, uh, you know, with CJ, I was talking to CJ about a cookbook, you know. So I do have some recipes to get going. Um, you know, we'll see. What else do I got? You know, I got some merch up there. You know, again, it's... Uh, there's just a lot. There's just a lot to do 
for a one man show. I got spotted at work, Fat 13, by my employees. Well, you should have ran from that, man. I am a maintenance mechanic. So he's a maintenance mechanic. There you go. He welds. You should get a little bit of a pension, right, Scotty? I know if you were in Jersey doing that, you would be getting a huge pension because everything is bigger in Jersey when it comes to money. And yes, you do push my buttons. I accept that from you. And let it rest before cutting it. There you go. So Chris, if you're still out there, which I don't think you are, let it rest. There you go. Pulling it at 150. Hey, it was a good hour, man. I appreciate that, Ken. Stay in touch, man. Went by fast. You ain't kidding. There's barbecue mama. So look, as we cut out of this, let me uh, repeat myself. If anybody wants to watch the girls live tomorrow at about 830, 845, um, I have found the, the, the YouTube channel, I do believe. And uh, they have a chat uh, during the show. It's a morning show. It's like I witnessed, uh, like, um, you know, in the States, we would have uh, Good Morning America. Uh, they're going to do a live cooking segment on there. They won't be able to see you in the chat, but there'll be a lot of people, uh, probably fans of the, uh, of the uh, news station, um, are in the chat. If you want to go yuck it up, uh, in there, uh, reach out to me and we can, uh, we can do it together. That'd be fun. Definitely can, man. Keep in touch, man. Yeah, good website. No doubt about it, man. No doubt about it. Again, I just wish I had more time, you know. Barbecue Mama never lets me down. I appreciate you for popping in. Later, Tommy, Facebook user. I'm not sure who that is. I can't read all my... Uh... Oh, there's George. Hold on. Let me just uh, update all these things. <clears throat> all right man so that's uh i think that's it man that was a great show man that was a quick show you know it's it's funny because you know i talk to chris on the phone all the time he's an easy guy to talk to so this uh interview felt like i was just talking to him on the phone And I think uh, Paul have a good one. Hey, nice to see you, Paul, man. Bad he called fat again. Not sure what that is. Post the link for the show. I will watch. Um, I'll I'll reach I'll reach out to you tomorrow, Wendy. I'm gonna write myself a note. We can watch together. And if anybody else wants to watch and support, we can uh, support M and K by watching the show and letting the news people know that we are out there. James, uh, reach out to me. I, are we friends on Facebook, James? I think we are. Reach out to me on Facebook and we will all watch the show together. We'll have a little uh, little watch thing together. Uh, it's about 8.30, 8.45 uh, Eastern time, New York time. So if anybody wants to watch, just reach out to me, email, whatever, Facebook, and uh, we'll uh, share the links and, and watch it all tomorrow. So that is it, man. Great night, great show, uh, big week. Uh, Master Bill hits the uh, hits the center stage. Um, I got a great video Wednesday. You got to watch this video. I know a lot of people cut out, but I people were asking me frog legs, frog legs. I didn't do frog legs, but I did a uh, I did a little piglet. Okay, a little piglet, a little quarter piglet. So you're not going to see the face. You're not going to see the head. There's no apple in the mouth, but it is a little piglet. It's a fun show. Uh, and that'll be probably coming out Wednesday. I will. I will. I'll, uh, I'll reach out to you tomorrow, Wendy. I, I wrote, uh, I wrote you down right there. Alrighty, man, that is going to end it. About, uh, 1047. If I didn't say hi to you, what is up? If I didn't say hi to some people, uh, the, the interview was going quick. Um, so that was that, but I appreciate everybody again, man, fun week coming up, stay tuned, support all content creators. We all work hard for you guys 
And uh, that is it. And until next time, we will see you.